Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronix Photonitra in this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily clean up your studio backdrop in Photoshop as a beginner and I just want to show you the simplest way I tend to use when it comes to cleaning or removing folds and wrinkles and also distractions from your studio backdrops when it comes to uh, Photoshop. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you how to first of all remove the distractions from your images and later on show you the technique i tend to use when it comes to evening out and smoothing this kind of background so the very first thing i tend to do is knowing the intention for using the images and for this i would love to post these photos on instagram so I'll just come and get the crop tool right here and make sure i select the crop ratio of 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 so i'll just crop the image so i'll just crop in the image just like that I think that is okay. So I'll make sure I leave it in content away right there and I'll simply hit enter or return and that is going to fill up this area. So after doing that, anything is going to be removing this distraction. So I'll just come and come and select the patch tool. I make sure it is in this first option selected right here and make sure the patch is set to normal. So after doing that, I'll simply select this distraction by drawing around it so you left click and draw around it so i'll move that softbox to a clean area so i'll select it once again so you select it and drag it to a brand new area so i can as well get rid of this line by drawing around it and eliminating it so i'll just come and also get this reflector out of there so i'll just drag it to a clean area and you can see that is going to eliminate that. So let's also get rid of these lines from the backdrop. So I'm basically selecting what I want to remove and dragging it to a clean area that is just close to it or nearby it. So I'm just going to remove this kind of dirt and drag it to a clean area. And by just doing this, you can see what we have gotten to right now. So I'm just going to eliminate this. So right now the back drop is now free from distractions and now the next thing that we're going to do we are simply going to smoothen out or remove these folds and wrinkles in the most simplest way possible and after removing the folds and wrinkles we just want to iron the outfit so you can see that it also has these kinds of wrinkles but for ironing it is not going to be the same technique for smoothing out the back the back drop rather so in order to smooth uh, the backdrop, you're just going to come this background line and simply duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard and simply come the brushes. So right click and get the mixer brush tool. And if at all you don't have the mixer brush tool under the brushes section, you can always find the mixer brush tool right below here. So after setting the mixer brush tool or selecting it, make sure you set it. So make sure it is clean and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected. With the weight of 9%, load 75, mix at 90, and with a flow of 100%. So what we are going to do in this case, we just want to increase on the size of the brush by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So after doing that, we are simply going to remove these wrinkles. So unlike the usual techniques whereby you have, whereby you have to select the subject, this is basically going to be a process or technique of just painting on the backdrop remove the wrinkles so how to do that simply remove wrinkles that are moving in a vertical way we have to move the brush strokes in a horizontal way so you can see as i'm moving my brush in this kind of horizontal or opposite direction you can see that we are eliminating the wrinkles or folds from the backdrop and is making it smooth so i'm just going to do this for the rest of the backdrop so Make sure you are careful and you don't drag dark colors into bright colors. So, first of all, paint on a bigger area before you zoom in because before zooming in, basically when you zoom in, it means that you are going to have to paint more. So, make sure you first of all paint from a distance just like that. And you can see I'm maintaining the original shadows and highlights in the backdrop and i'm not dragging from information from one area to another 
So you can see the backdrop is now looking better and smooth. So you can see we are also going to maintain the brightness levels of the backdrop. So you can see this is very nice, easy and simple because most people don't know how to select and I find it a very fast and effective way to clean and smoothen out the backdrop. So you always have to be careful not to paint over the subject. So right now it looks nice and clean. So always take your time with this kind of technique. So paint, paint and paint. So after doing that, remember near the subject we haven't smoothened the wrinkles on the areas close to the subject. So you have to use a relatively small brush and be careful and just paint just nearby the subject to el eliminate the folds and wrinkles in those areas that are close to our subject in this case. So I'm just going to use a small brush and reduce or increase on the size of the brush. I'm using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So be careful as you're trying to do this. So you can see right now we are doing a very nice job. So always take your time as you're trying to clean this out. But cleaning won't be enough for this kind of image because right now you can see however much we clean the backdrop or the background, the outfit is still containing wrinkles. So that is what we're going to be handling after we have cleaned up uh, the backdrop. So take your time and you perfect uh, the image or the backdrop. So right now you can see it looks nice, beautiful and clean. So after doing that, the next thing is going to do, the next thing is basically going to be about ironing or removing the fold. So you can say before, after, before, after. But just using a Mr. Brush tool, this is what we have. So if I told you fit is too much, you can always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity of this layer. So just leave it to 100%. So the next thing is going to be ironing the outfit. So I'm just going to match these layers. You can press Shift Control E or you can use Shift Command E on the keyboard to match the layers. Then I'm going to come to frequency separation right here and I'll use any bit depth. So I'm just going to use the 16 bit and hit enter just like that. Then I'm just going to come and look for an area that has more folds and wrinkles that we want to remove and take up the radius and stop at the point whereby these folds and wrinkles are just starting to disappear from the image. So at around 8.7, I'll just come and hit OK. And it has created the frequency separation layer. So I'll just delete the black and white and hide the high frequency layer. The reason for using frequency separation is because we don't want to remove the original textures in the outfit or the clothing of our subject. So reduce on the size. And we are basically going to paint on the areas that have these folds and wrinkles. And by just doing that, you can notice that it is removing these wrinkles and folds from the outfit so be careful not to remove that line from uh, the outfit because it's going to make it look a little bit different than it was initially before so right now i have so we are trying to iron out and remove the folds and wrinkles so I'll just come to the coat and remove these tiny wrinkles just like that Come and paint and remove these tiny wrinkles. So come back and turn on the texture layer. And if at all you feel like it has not done a perfect job, you can see this is the before, after, before, after. So if at all you want to go intense with the removing of the wrinkles, you have to use a slightly lower radius. So let me show you what a lower radius is going to be affecting. So I'm just going to use a low radius of around 4 pixels and paint once again to show you how a low radius is going to over smoothen out the fabric. So I've used a radius of 4 pixels and you can see that this is trying to 
eliminate the wrinkles or folds more than the higher radius that we had used initially before. So a higher radius is going to leave more of the textures and the wrinkles in the image and this kind of low radius is going to smoothen the outfit even more and make it more perfect. So turn this back on and you can see with the low radius you can see there is nothing like a wrinkle or fold remaining in the image. So this is how you can make your images better using Photoshop and how you can easily smoothen out and earn all fits of your subjects or clients using Photoshop. So this is it for this video. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank for watching and see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.